Hey folks, uh, so what I've got here is a Game Boy Color that I've already taken to bits here. Um, it's really nothing special about it. I was just getting ready to do another video on a Game Boy Color and I needed a uh, mostly working one. Um, so I went digging through my, uh, my donor pile here, grabbed this yellow one. I mean, it's not in the best shape. It's, it's okay. I think it'll clean up pretty nicely if I were to put in the effort, but quite frankly, I don't really feel like putting in the effort. Um, but anyway, the only thing wrong with this one was the power switch. Uh, you know, you turn it on, it doesn't quite turn on, so you flick it on and off about a dozen times, and then eventually it'll turn on, and that's just the way it is. Well, the fix for that, something that I've shown off many times before and have told people to do, um, is to desolder the shielding and uh, just get in there inside the switch and you know clean up with a uh, not a heat shrink tube but uh, with a uh, you know cotton swab or something and some isopropyl alcohol and then button it all back up together but um, I fucked up <laughs> I didn't really uh, I didn't get that far I got one side of the shielding off and then I busted it I totally totally fucked it up um, I broke the uh, pin off of the off the wiper here. So this is the wiper. This is the part that you slide back and forth. And you can see I tried gluing it back together. And if my camera will focus, you can see it didn't quite do a good job. Um, it's probably good enough, and it seems to be holding pretty well. But there's just there's something that I want to draw attention to because I literally just found it today, uh, hours before I ended up breaking this thing unintentionally of course uh, but I found out someone on Thingiverse made a 3d printable switch so I mean what what better opportunity to try this out um, you need to get your printer pretty dialed in just to be able to print something like this uh, print something this small with enough detail um, I have a brand new printer, as in I literally just set it up yesterday, and um, thankfully it's dialed in enough, I think, to make one of these. Uh, I'm still having some trouble getting it to print uh, with PETG, which is what this is, uh, so I had to switch back to the build tag plate for this, but I think... I think I got it going. So the problem is the 3D prints don't come with these little wipers. You will need to salvage these from your original switch, but they do come out pretty easily. I think the problem is getting them back in where they need to go though. I'm gonna try doing this on camera too. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, so that goes in there, but it doesn't stay in there. So I don't know how I'm gonna get this working. Maybe a little bit of glue can get this in there. Or maybe my printer just didn't quite get the dimensions right because it's such a small part. Oof, I just bent the shit out of that one. That was not good. Whoever's messaging me on Instagram, you should stop because I'm filming right now. Oh, I just messed it up. Probably should have just tried the glued one, to be honest. But that's where's the fun in that? Oh, this is terrible. Does it just pop right out? Like you push them in, and then the wind blows in China. 
and you pop right out. Alright. That's not great, but I think it's going to have to be good enough. Let's try it out. If I tip that over, yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. I mean, I guess if your switch is broken, you know. With Game Boy Color, the only real alternative is to just buy another Game Boy Color and transfer over the power switch, or a Game Boy Pocket. Those have the same power switches. Not a Game Boy Light. Oh, fudge! Oh, it didn't go far. It's right there. Oh! Okay. Definitely thought this was going to be a quick video. This is not a quick video. Apologies if you can hear my printer going in the background too. I've got, I've got a backlog of prints. There's got to be an easier way for this, too. Alright, hang on. Come out of there. You too. There's an errant piece of plastic. It's kind of hard to tell because this thing's uh, printed with transparent plastic. But I think... I think it might been giving me a hard time. Alright, now I'm going to insert this into the power switch upside down and flip it over. And oh, I missed by just a little bit. Okay, I think we're going to be good though. Pop the shielding back on. Reach over and turn on my soldering iron first. Okay. Ooh, that feels terrible. But I'll I'll reserve judgment until I get this all the way on. Because it's not pressed flush right now. Besides, even if it feels terrible, as long as it works, it doesn't matter. That looks good. Let's try it out. And maybe I can even use this for the video that I was planning on making. Oof, that's terrible. We've got to actually put this in the right way. There we go. Yeah, that thing looks terrible. But hey, if it works, 
Shout out to Tunderbaumarkt. I'm guessing I'm saying that completely wrong. On the Thingiverse, I'll throw a link to this thing down in the description. Whether it works or not, this is still wicked cool, and if it doesn't work, I have a feeling that has more to do with me than the actual print. Oh, look at that. It just freaking, oh, didn't do it that time. It only did it the first time. That was gnarly. Okay. Let's get the IR shield. I had to glue this back together, too. The corner was cracked off, but I did a much better job on this thing. Go figure. Eh, if it's under 20 minutes, it's still a short video for my channel. All right, let's try it out. Here goes nothing. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Hey, what do you know? That's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm still going to use this for my video. Well, for the video I planned on using it for, but... Eh, fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? I'll just fix it again if I break it anyway. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, thanks to... Tunderbaumarkt on uh, Thingiverse. I'll throw a link down in the description. There's, there's always a bunch of useful usually a bunch of useful information in the description, a whole bunch of links. Uh, if I ever buy something for a video or if I'm given something for a video, there's going to be a link to it in the description. There always is. Um, even the junk I get on Taobao. Uh, but there we go. You break your Game Boy Color or I suppose Game Boy Pocket power switch. As long as you still have the little wipers and the rest of the power switch. Um, you know, if you break this little plastic part, you can get yourself a 3D printed replacement. No, I do not sell them. No, I do not wear, know where you can get them. But there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.